Welcome back to the counter. Today's pour is all about turning this um, older neon gold pour into the pair of a piece I did yesterday. I'll be using the same swiping technique that I've been calling my shabby chic tight look. Um, when you use black lacing, it gives a wonderful depth and effect, especially over this neon gold. And it does glow in the dark, which is an added bonus. So let's get all organised and um, we have our plan. Let's see how it turns out. All right. What we have here is a 17 by 22 inch cradled MDF board. It is a previous pour and that pour is over uh, more than a week old. So I have lightly sanded the surface just to scuff it up and give the new resin something to uh, adhere to. The colours I'll be using today will be um, Art Tree Creations, an Australian um, brand of pigments. This is Iceland White and they're Black Opaque. Now I'll be using those in a combo to make a grey for the actual pour. So white is, is there as a mixer rather than as a main colour. The resin I'm using is Promarine. Now I've only just started using Promarine and to be honest the, the mad lacing that it gives you um, took me aback for, for quite a long time and I fought to, to keep my shapes and my lines without getting the lacing that everybody is looking for. In the end I gave up and now I'm just going with the lacing while I'm still using this resin. The lacing um, that I get in the Shabby Chic um, is perfect in this resin. Okay. My windows are wide open, my extractor fan is on, I've got all my supplies, my gloves, my wipes, um, my torches are filled, I've got my temperature measure. It's still a bit chilly over here so I will have to make sure everything's the right temperature. And of course my swiping tool which is my palette knife. Um, the sticks that you can see are basically just to give myself a dam around my baking paper to stop the resin, the overflow resin running off my smaller table. Okay, let's have a, a pour. We have the plan and now all we need is a good execution. I'll bring you back for the pour. Okay, so we're back. So first things, this is going to take about 600 mils of resin and I'm going to mix it in two batches. So the first batch will be my striping and the second batch will be the backfill of the black. So I've mixed up my grey, I've mixed up my black and I have clear. Now just while I've got the clear, on the forums um, there seems to be a lot of chatter about people that have sticky spots or mixing issues. Now, I'm not even sure where I learnt this, but years ago I was always taught to drag a stick through the centre, lift it slightly, go back and lift it through the centre and you keep doing that. Spin round half and do again. And what that does is that incorporates all your resin properly. So when you see me do this, I'm actually not stir stirring round. I'm dragging my stick through the center and then I'll turn my cup and drag through at a cross. You can still scrape the sides and I scrape both sides of the stick I'm introducing bubbles here, which I probably shouldn't, but that's okay. So if you do that, it is unlikely that you're going to get mixing errors. If you do have sticky or soft spots, it's because your ratio is wrong, not your mixing. Okay, so that's just a quick tip. I'm sorry it's a bit cloudy because I just added more bubbles to that. Check my temperature of my resin. My resin's 26. 
My board is 22, so I'll just warm it up slightly. Check the temperature again, that's better, that's 26. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put down clear, and I want my wipes to be about this level so about here so I'm putting down clear relatively thick now in this piece I'm not going to be using a heat gun I'm just going to be using my torch so I'm getting rid of the bubbles and that's because I don't want I don't want movement, I actually want to have things sit on top. So I'm going to do my black. Bit of grey crossing over. Leaving the clear spots. Bit more clear. Black just crossing over into the grey and we do want some clear spots so so don't get too aggressive with this okay do my bubbles and now comes the fun part I've got the big gun, but honestly, I don't think that um, I'll use that one. I'll just use the small one. And what I'm going to do is just swipe lightly and run off. Now, you do get a bit of mess here. And you can do this in any pattern you want. going to torch that and leave that to do its thing. Now I do want to put a bit more clear just across this part. through here just to give a different dimension and we'll also add more clear down this part now I'm going to leave this oh, sorry I need to torch that I'm going to leave that to do its lacing and mix up the other um, batch of resin. So I'll leave this on time lapse quite quickly. I'll just I'll speed it up so that it's, it'll only take me a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so I've mixed the black. Still got a little bit of the grey. And I've got some clear because I want to lighten this part up here. 
so I'm going to add more clear just on here and a little bit more black just a sweep a little bit more grey and a tiny bit more clear Sweep this one. Cleaning my palette off as I go. Okay. Now you can see what I mean about how leaving it alone creates these wonderful effects so now i'm going to do some backfill and i'll do that up here so to give this a chance to lace down now remember i've still got a bit of clear over here so i'm just going to spread that out could get in there with my hands normally working with so many colors that black can contaminate so you get into the habit of trying not to touch black but in this case black is uh, the predominant color and we're not playing with anything else so I'm just going to do the edges. Do a bit of torching. Now you can see why I put a paper towel around the handle of my torch so again I'm not using the torch to move things around I'm just getting rid of bubbles and slightly heating it okay now we've got this magnificent lacing going on in here so now I'm going to back fill the black down here you can tell I'm not used to working this big I'm going to join this up with my black just against that corner again do my sides Again, you can actually feel what your sides are doing on the far sides of your working. Oh. This is getting a bit messy. Sorry about that. Still doing a bit of backfill. 
Now what I'm going to do is sweep that black over that little piece of grey. Using the palette knife. sure this is working properly. Bit of torching. Now remember I keep saying to this to you the key to this is to let resin do what it does best and especially in the case of Pro Marine it laces so you can see that here if you mess with it too much you'll actually have everything sink so you have to make the decision early on what you're going to do and which bits you're going to leave so so light down the bottom going to backfill this being careful to keep that bright section there now this section is still dry so I'm going to just fill that with a tiny bit of clear. That bit's all covered. Get rid of the bubbles. And now with my palette knife, I'm going to bring the black down. Oh. I'm trying to work this so that you can see. Oh, no, doesn't matter. Exercise. Quite happy with this bit. I'm thinning this bit out of just a bit more. Okay, I reckon for this bit over here which needs a bit more And that's about all I can do without losing what I have. Still not quite happy with this bit. Better. 
変な味でしてはい、ベラヒント rather than a, a block I quite like the fact that that's a central point but it does look a bit weird so I'll just cover that slightly with the grey and just soften that edge fix my sides fix my edges And I have this completely obvious piece of dust here. I'm going to walk away for 20 minutes. I'll show you what we've got and then what we end up with in 20 minutes. Okay, so this is what we have. This is what happens when you let resin lay by itself. And more will pop up as we leave it. Okay. okay, so it's been 20 minutes, and during that 20 minutes I've just cleaned up a bit. But this is the lacing that we have on the piece. It's stopped moving. Some wonderful spots in there where you can see right down into the gold. Done a, a quick torch to the bubbles. And I will cover this and leave it cure. So the piece is cured overnight. You can see the beautiful lacing that we're left with, with the glints of gold and yellow underneath. Maybe a little bit heavy handed on the grey, but still a nice piece.